I just hope people in this community in Crestwell and um, continue to cherish education. Uh, for me, it's been a, an achievement and a, and a life profession to always want the best. I have always wanted to address every single issue that came up to the school in terms of whether or not I felt it would be good for my own children, how I would feel if my child was in that place, whether I was speaking with a, a parent who was upset about something, or whether I was teaching, uh, teaching the teachers, really, the curriculum, or whether I was working with any other employee of the district. I always wanted them to leave with an impression that they have provided their best in their capacity as a professional educator to make sure that these children were well prepared when they left. Um, that's, that's really been my life goal. I was fortunate to get into education. I consider myself to have had a, a great career and, and um, mainly because I was able to do the things that I really enjoy doing, which is working with students. And, and I've worked with students in other capacities besides just the, the formal school setting. I've, I've coached, I've worked in summer programs with kids. Um, I, I've just enjoyed being able to, to assist, I guess, students reach whatever goals they might have. And more importantly, I think I've, I've tried to emphasize that they could set their goals, that uh, you could do whatever you wanted to do. A school is a part of a community and to be involved in the community, to understand what the community's needs are, a person just has to be accessible to those various groups in the community. Um, <clears throat> we provide a service, and so as a service provider in the community, uh, you don't provide the service as, as an individual administrator sees fit. Uh, we provide services as the community requests them from us. And so we give de minimis guidance in terms of whether or not a program might work or what, what obstacles might be in place. But uh, in essence, we, we are service in as much as Kiwanis is a service group and the Chamber is a service group and, the, and uh, churches are service groups and, and on and on. So um, we're not an entity that just does things our way. Probably the, the largest project was our curriculum project and that came about through our strategic planning process that we initiated the second year I was here. In a nutshell, the curriculum program answers a number of questions. Uh, first of all, what are you teaching and when are, do you teach it? What outcomes do you expect and how do you measure whether or not those students uh, achieve the outcomes? So for a parent entering into the uh, first parent-teacher conference of the year, they should be able to ask two questions. Number one, what are you going to teach my child this year? And number two, how will I as a parent know whether or not you achieved the results that you wanted? I think there have been some struggles along the way. We're currently involved in one right now with the funding situation. We had a similar experience in 2003. So it's been, uh, it's almost been a, a situation where we've had to deal with the minimum amount of things that you would expect a school district to provide students as well as staff and um, I just I wouldn't categorize anything I've done as monumental. <laughs>